Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dreadout 2. It has been a little while since I last played Dreadout, but I do remember that we came out to this small village on the outskirts of the city in order to find out the origin of the Samani chicken egg that we found that was used in a dark ritual, and it led us to this creepy old woman up in the woods who seems to think that she knows us. Her name is Ninny Teddy, and she says she used to be our babysitter when Linda was a kid and still had living parents. But I don't know. She's also the source of this dark ritual egg, so I don't know if we can really trust her. And she lives in this mystical forest with some looping paths. Also, she appears to live in a hallway. Ugh, she's so horrible looking when you get closer. Like, we only kind of saw her from a distance before, but she's got kind of a monster face. <laughs> Look at that. Eyes staring, mouth slightly a ajar. <laughs> she's like a, a scaled-up gnome. Do you have any... You look tired. Why don't you get some sleep? We'll talk later. And oh, I almost forgot about the egg you mentioned. I'll see to it while you rest. Now let's call it a day. You can sleep in my room. Ugh. Don't worry, my dear. One or two insect bites won't kill you. You look tired. Yep. Okay. She just repeats the entire dialogue again. Is there any ghostly phenomena in her shack? It's a lot of fruit to just keep lying out, especially watermelon. Like, unless she was going to eat those tonight, that watermelon is just going to get all soggy. Kind of weird to see a calendar in a shack like this. Alright, so... I've got some notes here. The day is getting dark. Ninny Teddy asked me to rest. Yeah, it's a good idea. I need to sleep after that long journey. Furthermore, she promised to tell me what happened to my family years ago. I hope all she's about to going to tell me will answer many questions about myself. We still have this, but we couldn't do anything about it because it wasn't night. So hopefully we get back to the city and it's still night at some point. Clearly it won't be today. Unless... Okay, so, uh, <laughs> sure, we need to find out what's going on with our mother, but uh, let's go back to school first. Can't go there yet. All right. I had to check. I mean, they did say that uh, bike taxis aren't allowed to go inside Kampung Sinte, and we're in the middle of, like, a, a forest park, so I can't imagine he's going to drive up here and pick us up. Off to bed, then. Is she checking for spiders? I mean, I know the feeling, but... Fall asleep with her phone flashlight on? Hmm... I can't... move. Oh my, you've grown into a fine young lady. I remembered you as a restless girl who loved to play hide-and-seek. Even if the day had gone dark, you refused to stop playing. Ah, those were the days. So did she just come to loom over us in our sleep? Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Ready or not, here I come. Okay, it's a showdown. I gotta find those brats and show them who's the boss. But where do I look first? Okay, this is Linda, as a kid. Kid, duh. Is there, I'm trying to see if there's really a resemblance. She's got kind of big eyes. Doesn't look exactly like Linda, but then most kids don't look exactly like they do when they hit teenage years. Mom, what are you doing outside? Can we see her face? No, we can just get 
real close on Linda. Moomy? Mm. Mom? Uh, she's not listening. Mm, well, back to hide and seek then. Need to find those trio poo poo. What? <laughs> Trying to like, I'm not actually trying to zoom in on Linda. I'm trying to get a look at her mother's face. It just seems like a normal face. She's not faceless or anything. I think we're in like a dream memory combination. So as far as we know, Linda doesn't actually know what happened to her parents and why she is an orphan. I mean, she was questioning earlier if she even actually ever had parents. Probably a good thing that we're the one doing the seeking and not the hiding, because this pink shirt is not exactly forest camouflage. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Okay, so this is the boundary of this area. One. Ah, Poopy. You found me first. Next round, it's gonna be my turn to search for you guys. Just my luck. Okay. Seems like we're searching for a trio, so there should only be two more. And it seems like we can't go very far either, so... Gotta be like one in each area. You're getting so good at this. But you're not going to find Aka. He's a master at hiding. What does your shirt say? It's like eel kendo something. Oh, Alright, bye. Hmm. Maybe we should follow the white rabbit. That always works out well. Um, okay. There's a little bit of a delay before it let me start walking again. Hmm, maybe he's hiding in this spooky fucking cave down here. With this troll man. Music immediately stops. I thought those were bones, but I'm pretty sure those are cigarettes. <laughs> Alright, there's him. Do you see what's standing behind you? You probably can't see it, because you don't have ghost vision powers like I do. Huh? Linda? I guess I must admit you're the winner. Okay, I'll go meet the boys now. Bye. Are we not going to address the, uh, elephantine man in the room? Buto Ijo. Apparently he doesn't want to acknowledge us either. What? You can see me. I guess you're my dinner now. <laughs> uh, you hungry, huh? Here, take this candy. Oh, okay. That was Linda. Uh, what? You offering me food? Give me that. I'm starving. Uh, you liked it? Hey, how come you can live inside this stinking cave? I tell you what, let me clean this mess for you, okay? Uh, you want to clean those mess? Go ahead. I guess you're not like those humans. Made this cave dirty and did some terrible things. I should have eaten them as punishment. Not sure this kid wants to know about what terrible things were done in this cave. 
found a necklace. Hey, Mr. Greeny, I found this beautiful necklace. Can I keep it? Uh, mm, that was good. You want that? Keep it for you. Uh, whoa. So you did clean my place. Thank you, little one. What's your name? Hmm. Name's Linda. Nice to meet you. Huh. Linda of the Maylinda family. I should have known earlier. <laughs> huh. Tell you what. As a reward for cleaning this place, I'll promise you one thing. Since we're living close to each other, I'll guarantee no one will hurt you here. If someone bullies you, I'll come and smash them. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm fine. Everyone's been good to me. Mm -hmm. Well, a promise is a promise. Now go home. Don't let your parents know you've been playing in this cave. This should be our little secret. <laughs> okay, bye! I guess, as a child, Linda probably saw quite a few spirits and, with a child's lack of fear, tried to befriend them. Our house appears to be on fire. Or perhaps that's simply the mists of memory. It's always like this for me here, Linda. Mom? What is happening? New Ghostpedia entry, Fat Troll in a Cave. Oh no, she's gone zombie. Well, the Samani egg was black when we got it. And I assume they're always black because that's what a Samani chicken is. for being egg voodoo dolled. <laughs> Told you we couldn't trust Ninny Teddy. She was too creepy looking. Linda's looking kind of wobbly. I don't have a flashlight right now. Ow. Why are you so cruel? Cool? The Maylanders were such a kind, caring family. Why did they have to suffer such a terrible tragedy? Most people have only heard that they died in a fire. But there's more to the story. What's um. the matter, dear? Are you okay? Comes with having many enemies. 
including the forest goblins. Coming to eat our power. Oh, Master Raffia, Madame Erna. You should be so relieved. Your daughter has finally come home. Soon she'll be joining you both. In hell! <coughs> All right, now she's gone full floating spirit. It's all right, though. Linda can regenerate. But what does she have to do with the serpent? Hey, remember this? Remember where you would go when you died in the first dread out? And have to run to a door of light? This seems kind of like that. And his arm's not looking so good. Hey, I remember you. It's the actual lady in red. I can help you. But first, you must fully accept the part that has been given to you. I don't know, I've lost my red shirt, so I don't know if I can still be a lady in red like you. Why is she so wet? <laughs> There is one thing left to do. You must go and find your roots. Find out who you really are. Therefore, you can fully understand your role. The time has come. Let us reforge our bond. Yeah, so this is pretty much exactly... I am you, and you are me. Is she a persona of me? I am thou, and thou art I. Also, the, the way Linda's hair just turns completely white during certain dark sections. They really should have fixed that. Arise, Keeper of the Dark. The only character to have all of her <laughs> dialogue voiced in one section. <laughs> Alright, so this thing... We gotta fight old school with our camera. Since we are in the regular world. I don't suppose we can get outside, so we can move around a bit. There we go. Hiding or stuck? Okay, I don't think she can fly through walls. That's wasted potential. She must be pretty important if she's getting all this dialogue. Also, does this mean that our babysitter was just a monster woman?
I mean, she's pretty easy so far. She's really not that evasive. Come find me, darling! Alright. Just a room full of dead rats. Linda always was good at hiding and seek. Maybe that's the part of our roots we need to accept. Oh, uh, hi, basement cows. she also the one that burned down our house then? <laughs> She's pretty much just a floating head. Oh, well there's the rest of her. We just have to avoid the body and blast the head when it comes at us. I went a little too low there. I wasn't sure. At first I thought maybe this was the thing we saw at the start of the game. That was possessing the other girl. But no, that thing had more substance than this. Though I do remember a ghost like this in the first game. Outside the clinic. Might be better if we let it come to us like that. Ah. She kind of does a little bit of a curve when she comes at you. Finally died. I got distracted because I thought I heard something else coming out of the ground. She's not too tough. We just have to stay on the move and I have to actually be a little more accurate with my snaps. I bet you'll taste just like your mother! Let's see if I can bully her before she gets too far away. Alright, she's out of range now. We don't have the stun flash either when we're in the main world. Alright, came straight at me that time. <laughs> Floating meat. Well, that was weird. <sighs> Then we get a taste of that organ meat. For a second, I thought she was going to offer it to us. Like, you have to eat this to get stronger. Instead, she's drawing a ritualistic sigil around us. Okay, that was also pretty weird. Thanks, cat.
Uh, okay. Got a little preview there of five seconds from now. Act six, destiny. Okay, so that was the thing. I was gonna say maybe we should stop here, but I don't think that fight actually took that long. Maybe we'll look around just a little bit. Since Dreadout has kind of got the shaft for releases and videos recently. I'm trying to focus on finishing Resident Evil 3, which I did, and finishing They Hunger Trilogy, which I did. Okay, so we've got a long hallway. We've got a pretty fancy house. I wonder if this is the Maylinda house. It's maybe a little less fancy on the inside. Creepy mansion. Spooky music. Just wondering now what is down the path. I mean, there's a lot of vehicles here. So it seems like this place shouldn't be abandoned. I want to see if this leads anywhere before we go inside. And we should also check our Ghostpedia, because we get, did get quite a few. Apparently we're at Siska's house. Huh. So we... let's see. Palisic. Believed as the manifestation of black magic practitioners, Palisic gains their power by eating infant babies and sucking their blood. These conditions are also hereditary, passed down from Palisic parents to their offsprings. In Linda's situation, Ninny Teddy was a Palisic in disguise, came to infiltrate and destroy the Maylindas. Her actions were caused to obtain the power within the Keeper's blood and also hatred towards the Order. And then Buto Ijo, a green humanoid giant that notoriously loves to consume human flesh. This creature is also worshipped as a deity for those who want instant wealth or success. A dark pack with Buto Ijo demands high prices. One must provide human sacrifices periodically as offering. If his worshippers are failed to provide, Buto Ijo will come to eat him slash her and ultimately the entire family. In Linda's story, she met with the kind Buto Ijo. After giving him food and making him know she belongs to the Maylindas, the creature promised to help whenever she's in great danger. So I wonder if he's going to show up at some point to help out? And we didn't get any new urban legends. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you do fight a Palisic in the original game. Just a floating bunch of organs hanging out of a head. Doors locked. Also, let's see, can we go to the school now? Nope, no signal. I wonder when you were supposed to do that, if I already missed the opportunity to deal with that side plot? I don't know, maybe I had to go to the school during the day, and then it would change to night, because we got that side quest during the day, and then it wasn't night until we went to the village. Okay, doesn't actually tell me what it was. Probably a key. Bathroom key. Siska's mansion. Ancient poem about Sulung. This is an ancient poem. Its writings tell me about someone who lamented Sulung's fate. Maybe it was written by one of the keepers. All right. Don't know what any of this means. Oh, poor you. Poor you, beautiful one. All you've had sacrificed, your life, your purity. Although you've defeated the calamity for mankind, it's you who suffered the curse, your body decayed, your soul corrupted. 
wandering between two worlds, imprisoned by the terrible fate. Be patient, beautiful one. The darkest darkness will soon be gone. So does that mean she once had to fight the serpent before sealing it away? But in return, she became a horrible ghost monster? That kid is definitely not having it. He's like, eh. Okay. So I guess the locked door was down here. Linda, you maybe want to, like, wrap something around those bleeding cuts on your arm. Where was that door? Go back through the kitchen. Uh, but not this kitchen. <laughs> This is the servant's kitchen back here. Well, there's no fridge, so... Oh, no, there's a fridge. This door's locked. Alright, now we try to find the friggin' bathroom in this place. When you gotta go, you gotta go. front door. I guess they only have one bathroom in this mansion. And it's hard to find. There we go. I don't think it actually had an interact prompt. The bathroom looks normal. Hey, why are these snakeskins here? There are snakeskins here. No, wait, that's toilet paper. <laughs> These are snakeskin. Large snakeskin. I mean, Linda, we already know that Siska has something to do with the serpent. You should know that, too. Key to open the door that leads to Siska Mansion's lower level. That's probably the other locked door I was just at. Which I already cannot find, because I'm horrible at navigating. How is it not over here? There's no other doors. Oh, that's the front door, that's why. I'm completely backwards in the layout. I thought that was the back door and this was the front door. Basement key. What horrible things will be down here? Is this where we're going to find out that Linda's dad is a plant? Alright. We have a hostile signal. I totally forgot we had a charge shot. Seems like we can hurt them now. They're not supercharged anymore. Alright, well, we should probably wrap up now that we have some idea what we are doing here. Hmm. Ghost flowers and tied up bodies. I guess they might not be dead, but they're probably dead. A dead man with a strange outfit. I wonder what happened to him. They're probably snake cultists. Hmm. Gotta hit him in the head.
quite a few of them here. I like that this guy's just sitting on a bucket. Maybe these are the ones that became dreadlings. Hmm. A shield with a snake on it. Or just a carving, but it looks like a shield. This room would kind of be a nice little collections place if it didn't look like a murder basement. strange table and it's missing one plate. Maybe I should find it and put it on this mechanism. Kind of weird though that she inherently knows it's a mechanism and not just like a table. What is that? Am I supposed to put that on something? Come on, Linda. I couldn't even pick it up until I examined the other thing, so you know what it's for. What does the inventory say it is? Part of a puzzle. Well, that's pretty upfront. It's a part of a puzzle found by Linda. Linda needs it to open the puzzle door. You should know that as a player. Hmm. We haven't really had any puzzles like this. Like it kind of looks like it's going to be a three intersecting triangles thing. Select wheel, rotate left, rotate right. Okay, so we can shift it both ways. I feel like this is an Alice Madness Returns thing where, like, I don't actually recognize what it's supposed to look like. But I think the snake is supposed to be facing downward because we're on the opposite side. Something kind of like that. You see, like, a, a triangle with two points coming off the bottom. But then this one also has two of those, so I don't know. Alright, I didn't actually think that would complete it. <laughs> I was just trying to line it up to see if that looked right. Alright, well... I think after surprisingly solving that puzzle, uh, we'll call that the end of the episode, and next time we'll find out what exactly Siska's basement has for us here. That looks like a, a bigger snake skin up ahead, perhaps? But yeah, that was a, an interesting boss fight. We got a little bit of backstory on Linda that we didn't have even from the first game, so hopefully next time we'll continue to have some strange and interesting things happen and get closer to figuring out what exactly Linda needs to do to fix this problem. But until then, I've been Shadefire, this is Dreadout 2, and I hope you'll snap ghost with me again next time. Take care, everyone.